Hey, this is Ricky Kennerly Cichlids. In this video, we're looking at how to improve the growth rate of your Frontosa Cichlids. Now, there's three ways. I'll go into detail throughout this video, but I'm going to give you the highlights of it right now. The most important thing you can do for your Frontosa is to improve the growth rate is to have a, a species-only aquarium. Now, if you don't have a species-only aquarium, think about some of the fish that are from Lake Tanganyika. If you have fish from other places around the world, other lakes, other parts of Africa, they're most likely going to stress the fish. In fact, even some of the fish from Lake Tanganyika can stress the frontosas. They like to be by themselves. Now, I didn't like to hear this when I was first, you know, in the hobby making videos. I had a video of a big front toza with uh, some peacocks in there, and I got really slammed for it. I didn't really realize why, and some of you may be upset that I'm telling you now that to improve the growth rate of these front toses is to have them with their own kind. Uh, they'll be less stressed, they'll be able to eat better, and they'll look at the things in the aquarium with more joy and peace. They're easily startled and if they're not you know if they're not calm and speak peaceful then you know they don't do as well. Their uh, stress will slow down their immune system. Uh, there's so many things that will affect them to keep them from growing as fast as they can. So remember have a species only aquarium or make sure you select the fish you have with them carefully if you do have other fish. But I recommend a species only aquarium for the front toes to grow better for you. The se second biggest thing that you can do to improve the growth rate of your front toes of cichlids is have them in the biggest aquarium possible. Have them in the biggest aquarium possible. Now, I mean, sometimes when you start out, you may have a smaller aquarium because the front toes are slow to grow. There may become a time where you actually want the front toes to go to full size as quickly as possible. So putting them in the largest aquarium possible at the time will allow them to grow the fastest. It will cause them just to go a lot faster. Even though the front toes are slow to grow anyways, they'll grow a lot faster in a bigger aquarium. They're a lot easier to uh, stunt uh, to uh, and stunts not permanent. You, if you have them in a smaller aquarium, they won't grow as fast. I know people think that's a myth, but I've just experienced it for years. So there's no nobody going to tell me differently. If you have them in a smaller aquarium, they're not going to grow as fast. So have them in the biggest aquarium as possible. So if you want your front toes to grow big and fast quickly, even if they're really it's a one and a half inch big. If you have them in the biggest aquarium as, as soon as you can, they grow a lot faster, a lot faster. And it'll be easy for the filtration, the bacteria to be good. So the bigger aquariums, it just the benefits of the bigger aquarium will also be the benefits to, to grow your mitosis at an improved rate. Now the third way you can improve your frontosis growth rate, which I've seen some dramatic dramatic results in the last few weeks is to occasionally feed them some type of live food, live frozen food. It's not necessarily live, but it was it's fresh food. So if you can do this at least once every three or four days, maybe once a week, you can see the difference just within a few days after doing it. And you'll see the size increase of your front toes very quickly afterwards, within a few weeks. I've seen dramatic results in the last three weeks. What I use for fruit feeding my front toes for the, that kind of food is the raw, deveined, uh, peeled uh, sh shrimp. Gulf shrimp in particular, but you can use other shrimp. And this works great. There's some other frozen foods that you can use, but having these type of foods improve your growth rate dramatically with the front toes. The pellet food can only do so much. They know it's not their natural food that they would be eating, but when they're eating shrimp, it seems real because that stuff comes from you know the wild. It's uh, it's a real you know it's like for us we eat shrimp in the wild, and so uh, you know they, they like it and they and you can see their bodies adjusting to it and 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 their bodies 
becoming more blue and white and it's just amazing to see their improvement in their growth rate because you're feeding them fresh fish, fresh shrimp, fresh whatever. But for in my case, it's fresh gulf shrimp. Now I've given you, you know, some of the best, best, best suggestions on how to improve your Franchosa growth rate. I'm going to take a look at my Franchosa Grow Out Aquarium. It's not that big. It's as big as I can have it. And we'll look at some of the amazing uh, effects of some of these uh, Franchosas with what I've been doing with them and how I adapt to what I need to do to get the improvement in their growth rate. Now here is my Franchosa Grow Out Aquarium. It's not that large, but it is a pretty much well a species only aquarium. The only thing else in here is a vampire pleco, which I'm not sure if it actually has vampire teeth, but it was sold to me as a vampire pleco, and it was purchased from the suppliers as a vampire pleco. And I've had to notice if they, it would bother these front toes or not, but it does not bother them. In fact, they kind of bully it around a little bit, but it's this does pretty peaceful in here. Now I have had in the past where I've had a bristle nose the cosmos that absolutely drove my male frontoses and other other cichlids crazy actually stressed them and actually caused their fins to be torn. So picking your tank base is very important. It's better to have what you see here mostly which except for one fish the species only aquarium. You can see the blues just come out in these frontoses because they're at peace. There's nothing in there stressing them. There's no Lake Malawi cichlids in there stressing them. Uh, because your peacocks and some of the other Lake Malawi cichlids are going to stress these fish. In fact, some of the other Lake Tekanega fish are going to stress these fish. So have them pretty much well. A species on the aquarium will improve the growth rate. And you'd be happy with what the results are. Not just with the three the growth rate but also the coloration the peacefulness of your front toes and you'll be surprised of the difference it makes now my grow out setup is a little bit different from others because I'm kind of breeding to sell uh, I don't have some of my bigger aquariums that I would like but for this one what I've done as I've gotten older and bigger I've had to take the, some of these front toes out and separate them into other aquariums so there will be more space for each individual aquarium for a, each individual uh, front by spreading them out. And you can see in some of my other videos like front land, all those uh, front from that video front land came from this uh, aquarium and from this group. They were all growing together and I, I divided them up and spread them out and so these will grow even faster. And these got some great coloration. Now it wouldn't do me any good if I talk about feeding these guys raw shrimp if I didn't show you in the video and show you how they just really love it. So I'm going to put some in here now. Look at them just tear into it, tear into it. And you can see kind of spikes of blue in the front toes if you watch carefully. Hopefully they won't all hide behind the rocks to eat. But look at them just tear into it, they just love it. So I put a little bit at a time. So some of these other smaller front toes didn't get the first little bit. So I'll put a little bit more. Now it's really easy to overfeed because they can get a mouthful and you not notice. Then they won't eat until they actually get it chewed up. So it looks like everybody's gotten some in their mouths. See how they love it? They just really love it. And this will improve your growth rate dramatically. So, the three ways to improve your growth rate for frontosas have a species only aquarium, grow them out in the biggest aquarium possible from the start, or upgrade as soon as you can throughout your cycle of the life. And three, in the feedings, do some frozen food, 
Uh, in this case, I recommend the raw Duvain peeled Gulf shrimp. Uh, if you're not near the Gulf and other parts of the world, any type of shrimp will do good. If you can't buy it, whether it's uh, raw, uh, I would make sure it's raw because cook is, cooked is not as nutritious and uh, they don't really like to eat it as well and it's harder on the digestive system. But any type of shrimp from around the world will work. So thanks again for watching Ricky Kennedy Cichlids where fish swim.